What is up you guys? So in this video I'm going to do a quick first impressions and overview of rounds. So it's not really a first impression because I've kind of messed around with it a little bit. I don't even own it yet. This is a demo version but I'm really impressed with this synth. I'm going to buy it later today. Uh, really impressed with it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's just go f open up the uh, the instruments so let me find reactor real quick so we got to find reactor blah 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 should have done it at the beginning of the video but i wanted to just kind of do it from this part because some people are maybe not familiar with reactor so just to see how reactor is it's an engine and you can build stuff inside of it but in this case we're going to go player we're going to just open up rounds so you can see i have razor the finger monarch and other stuff in there so we're just going to grab the file name drag it in here and now that opens up round. So I'm running the demo version and uh, you can go to naveinstruments.com and just check out demo versions before you buy stuff. So uh, a quick overview uh, of what everything is and how the synth works. I'll go through some presets in a second, but basically what this is are you have all these sound blocks. So it's uh, I think it's eight of them, right? So eight sound blocks and then you have cells inside of each one. So each cell, you know, you can program into a digital or an, uh, like a digital or analog uh, little engine. And, you know, basically you can think of each of these as like, a, you know, each one of these has an oscillator, a filter, a mod, an output. And, you know, basic just, uh, you know, it's basically like each of these are all different oscillators. And then you have the digital ones. So, you know, you can see the difference between those. And then you can intercombine those and set out like different things you have a like a little paintbrush tool to you know get draw whichever ones you want or if I want to put three here I'll just click here on three click it over here or I guess you could drag it right um, so you can kind of mismatch those and then uh, you have basically a little FX section so just basic delay and reverb but that's really not what's important um, when you're building one of these you can also solo it so you can just hear that one very useful there and then, uh, basically, what you can do is, uh, let me bring the volume down on this really fast. Just so it's not too loud. Like, right around there. So. You can see that right now I'm in monochord. And right now we're in the layering, I believe. This is, uh, layering. Uh, if it would, let me see what it's called. Anyways, so right now when I play this, everything in this little module or sound blocks as they call it right uh, they call it sound blocks so everything that's in this one sound block uh will play all together now if i want to turn on this rotate now it'll kind of go and rotate the sound and kind of morph it like that and then of course you have other things like note sequence time um, you know, basic stuff like that where you can program how it moves to the next uh, little cell or next sound block. So now if I turned on uh, cell block B, uh, now it's going to go to there uh, if I set it to, let's see. So let's set it so when I play three notes, it'll go to the next sound block. And... Uh, the really interesting thing about this is, uh, you know, we can put one, three, four, three, whatever, but we can also turn these off, so it'll still go through it, but it, we just won't hear it, so. Or if we have rotate on. Now if we turn this one back on. Really good for making any kind of bass or pads and stuff like that. So let's turn off one and two. Let's set it to time and let's set it down to, you know, half a bar. So now it's going kind of in between those. Let's set it to a quarter. So that's kind of how it works. So again, like I said, uh, if I wanted to just work on 
one of these, like let's say uh, we wanted to just hear the digital one, we click digital solo it, and you know now we can kind of combine some FM, basic stuff in the oscillators, some feedback, some output, uh, a little bit of spread. You have ratios for both sides, and then you know you have some extra options on the routing, and then you know you can set some glide. You got basic filter stuff. And then a little bit of a LFO mod and envelopes and stuff like that. And your basic ADSR right here. And then your output. So you can send how much reverb you want for, for that. And then basically the idea is that you have all these different engines that you can put into the sound block cells. And then if you want, you can just have these all on. And it's just really crazy. So, you know, you can have this be really fast. So let's unsolo this. So, uh, you know, that's, I, I messed around with this before, but my first impression was that this is really different, and it's really creative, and uh, if you listen to some of the presets, like Soundscape's uh, The Dawn of Rounds, uh, this is just one of my favorite uh, presets I've heard in a, in a synth for a while. Because I, I was a big fan of Albina 3, Absinthe 5, and, you know, I just like a lot of, like, that atmospheric soundscape type stuff. I really do love that stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm playing any of that in key. I'm playing on my computer's uh, keyboard, so it's not like I'm playing on a MIDI keyboard where I can see what notes I'm playing. I'm just kind of guessing. I'm pressing like S, H, and K on the keyboard. So <laughs> it sounded pretty decent, but uh, yeah, so that's one preset. If we want to look at the leads, like the Blockbuster is a really nice, good lead right off the bat. And it's just using one sound block. And if we go to the bass, uh, we, we, you'll hear some interesting stuff here. So it's kind of like just, uh, l let's hear a few more. I believe you can make some really good bass stuff in here, and uh, obviously soundscape stuff is pretty good. So it's really just a really different process, and it's really creative. And I could show you some more, but I feel like now it's time to kind of explain what's going on up here. So I think if we go, if we hold this over, you can see that this is voice mode rotate. This is voice mode uh, rotate reset, so I'm guessing that's kind of like every time you play a new note, it resets. Whereas this one will just keep rotating. And then we have the uh, random voice mode, and then we have layer. So that one's pretty interesting. I've been using that one a bit. And then we have a zone. So, you know, you have different modes and, you know, you can kind of play around also with multi-chord, unison, uh, monochord, and things like that. And then you have your basic output here. So I, I really like this a lot. Unfortunately, this is at full price right now during Cyber Monday. Um, but it is very much worth it. I think this is going to be a lot of people's new favorite toy for a while. Uh, I think it's really interesting. It's I was not expecting much from it, but you know, I fooled around with it and it kind of just made me want to buy it immediately. So, uh, you guys should check out the demo of it. It's really rad. Uh, we'll just go through some more presets and then uh, I'll show you a little bit of how I used it. And then, yeah, so let's go into the pad stuff. So you, let's click here. Let's bring it up an octave. Also, the sequencing, uh, you know, how you can make these modules and sequence them, it's really interesting. See, we see that we have the same basic, uh, like, uh, sound module in each of these. So, the, you see 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. But it's really cool because if you mess it up, it, like, kind of change each one. Uh, so, if we put another one here, maybe a 4 here. Uh, so, let's drag a, maybe another 3.
And it kind of works like a sequencer if we just turn these off. So really, uh, you can get so creative with this. I mean, in sequencing and in terms of sound design, how you combine all these, you can, uh, let's maybe, uh, have some of these be on, uh, rotate. So, you know, it rotates around. So if you didn't get it before, uh, we'll just focus on one. So let, let's find a preset where it's just one. So we see how right now it's on multi-chord. And it's just playing one note every time I press a new note down. Uh, let's let's click on the rotate. So now you'll see that it's going to move by itself. Oh, actually, I think we have to be on. And you also, uh, what I like is every time you switch out of the different modes, you can kind of see what's going on in the sound block. So I kind of like that as well. So let's let's keep going through. Oh, okay, so this is a perfect ex example. So right here we can see that if I hold down one note, we just see one line and it's staying inside of that one cell. Now if I hold it, if we click the rotate, the sound is actually going to move from one to two and then, you know, back and forth. Um, so it's really interesting how it'll just move if the rotate's on. So I really like that a lot. Now let's uh, check out some uh, sound effects. Alright, so let's now go to some melodic sequence. Uh, let's start from here. Let's go up an octave. Let's hold down a few notes. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's on monochord. And let's go to the transcordia. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this preset, so it's pretty interesting what's going on, so... Let's see, uh, I noticed that there's one four seven, so I think that's in reference to, let's see, so this is probably up a certain amount in pitch and then seven. Uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's put that back there. So right here. So yeah, it's kind of like, it's a chord device in this case. Like if you go from four right here and then to seven, you know, you can see different pitch and it kind of, it's like you're making a chord builder. So just another way that you can kind of get creative with the sequencing here. So let's go. So uh, let's go now to maybe some multi-track sequence. Very creative use. So using some of the noise oscillators, you can kind of make some percussion type sounds. Uh, now let's get out of it. I'll show you kind of what I did here. So I had to record these because uh, obviously I was in demo mode, so I had to just resample it. But I recorded uh, the pad, uh, the Dawn of Round, uh, Dawn of Rounds, so it sounds like this. And then I recorded the, um, I think it was the lead, uh, Blockbuster. And they're both playing the same MIDI, so together. So it's really, uh, that's how I used it there. They're both playing the same MIDI. And it's just really good for 